Hey everyone, it's Julian Irons with richgirlnetwork.tv. We're cruising around Los Angeles today in this beautiful day, seeing how people stay trim and healthy and beautiful in this city. Our first stop is the Pico Athletic Club here on Pico Boulevard and La Cienega. And we're going to talk to Roland Richards, who's the owner and trainer of this club, and see how he takes care of his clients. Does he put them on special diets? Does he overtrain them? What's going on at Pico Athletic Club? Now come on in and let's start this day off right. I'm having so much fun here with Roland Richards. He's teaching me a couple of things about his amazing technique. And I mean, it's showing off on you right now that it works. So what can you do for clients who come in here and want to shape up a little bit and get the muscles that you have right now? Because, you know, you're looking kind of strong here. Well, I'm strong uh, because I worked out every day. And uh, things I do is different. I teach people the method of working out so you have fun with your workout. What I don't teach, I don't teach you how to repeat the same thing over. But I want to teach you repetition in a more athletic form. But what I do is called plyometric. Hmm. That's speed, power, and agility. The speed is where you use more of your twitch muscles. The power is where you use larger muscles. The agility is how to move around with easy way of going around without uh, pulling your body off track. Oh, fascinating. So are there certain things that clients have to do when they're away from you? I mean, it's one thing to come into the gym and get, you know, skills and techniques from you and you, you know, telling them what to do. But what do we do when we're away from our amazing trainer? Well, there are two things. You, what I teach, because my teaching is so, so unique. I don't teach with machine. I don't teach with anything that has to do with the machines. I teach you everything on the floor. So what I always tell the clients, you can't learn everything I, I teach you because I have over 5,000 repertoire in my, in my dictionary. Mm. So if you can get 10 of it, 10 of my exercises in your memory, so whenever you're out of place, where you're out of my, my gym or you're out of town on vacation, I, you remember what to do before you go to dinner so your body can burn the calories off. Because most time when people gain weight is when, when they're out of their environment or when they eat out because then they don't know what the calories and the food. So I just remember five to 10 exercises, you'll be doing fine. What are the things that you suggest your clients cut out of their diet? Well, what I always tell people as, as a former restaurant owner, people have this, uh, uh, this, uh, this belief that when you go to a restaurant, you have to order what they have in their menu. You can pick out, I can go to McDonald's and eat at McDonald's. I just don't eat what I, I feel is not necessary I should have in my food. So you can tell the restaurant server, I don't want this in, I don't want cheese in my food, I don't want oil, I want it grilled, so, so on and so forth. So don't be afraid to ask people because you don't know what they put in. Since you are, since you are a workout person or an athlete, you can pick and choose what you want to eat. When you do that, you live a very healthy life. Four things I always tell people not to have. If you don't have these four things and you don't walk out, just walk around, go, go back and forth to the stop. You know, if it's closed, walk down there. Cheese, butter, fried food, and soda. Take those four things out. You will see how amazing you live. You live at least 10 good lives to your, to, your, to your normal life. Ten good lives to my no yeah. ten good ten good lives. My, I I'm gonna cut those four things out because that sounds amazing. Yeah. So, are you gonna teach me a little something something today? Well, I'll be more than glad to teach you some things. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm so excited. Roland's going to teach me a couple of things about what he does here at Pico Athletic Club. I probably should have worn athletic pants for this, but I guess these jeans are going to have to do. Okay, I'm totally insecure about my butt, okay. all right? I go on dates and I like hide my butt from the guy who I'm dating yeah. because I don't want him to see it, so. First, the very best thing to do when you do your butt comes from your squats. Okay. The, the thing people don't understand, squats, you have to know the mechanic of squat. If you know the mechanic of squat, squat is a very easy, so easy uh, exercise. Because if you squat what well, you're going to squat with your core, with your core work. So one of the things you want to do when people are squatting, you want to observe where your knees are. Whenever you, if you're squatting and you feel, you feel, the, the tension on your quad on your quadricep. Mm -hmm. That means it's a wrong squat. You are not working anything. That's leg extension. You should where you should feel you should feel it right here to here. 
So here to so here. So here, that's Got your it. squat. Okay. If you are not feeling any 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 uh, uh, tension in those area, then you are not doing anything. Mm -hmm. I want you to just show me your normal way of squatting. All right, it's gonna look awkward, isn't it? Yes. All right. So you do with your hands like this, okay. right? Well, normally I would go like this. Okay. If I'm squatting. Okay, stop right there. Okay. Stop right there. Okay. See right away. See. Oh. That's your knee. Yeah, so I feel it here. That's correct. So okay. if you continue to do that. You might not feel it when you're younger, but as you get older, you're going to start having arthritis. Oh. This is why you see a lot of those old professional athletes, when they were done playing sports, they all have bad, bad knees, some of them amputated, hmm. because the knee has, has completely degenerated itself. One of the things you want to do when you squat, now you're going to see where my knees are. Mm -hmm. My knees are here, they are very perpendicular to my, to my ankle. That is where my knee should stay. But watch when I'm squatting. Always watch my knee is not moving. My knee is going to stay the same spot. Mm. So what I've done here, that's my, that's my. So everything I'm feeling, you feel if you if you hit here, don't be afraid. <laughs> if you hit there, you see you see that's my squat. Oh, I see. See that's the squat. Okay. So my knee never moves. See right there? Yeah. See my knee never go beyond. So what I'm gonna teach you stay stay that way. First, wanna turn your leg out a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Okay, just relax. Okay, start to go backwards, go backwards, go backwards, sit, sit. You're not gonna fall, I'm right here. For you. <laughs> okay. okay. Right there. Right there. So I'm gonna stay here like this, then I'm gonna let you go. Oh! That's your squat right oh, I'm doing a squat. So now if you see here, this is where you feel the, the, the stretch. Ah, yeah, I do. I feel so it there. That's correct. That's your squat. So you want to always squat like that. You don't, you don't. Then you come up. When you come up, you squeeze it forward. Woo, okay. So you want to always squeeze that bottom. That's what you get. See right there? Yeah. Squeeze like this. Squeeze my butt. That's correct. Ah. That's the final answer. Don't lock up, right there. Right there. Go back down. <laughs> then go back up. But now, to have that perfect answer, then the most important thing about exercise is your breathing. Right. See, when I talk to you, you hear my voice. Mm -hmm. So you listen. But your muscle doesn't hear your voice. Your muscle hear your breathing. Mm -hmm. So that is why they tell you to breathe for relaxation. In order for your muscles to be relaxed, you have to breathe. So if you don't breathe, your muscle tends up. So when I went down like this, the muscle doesn't know which one I'm telling to work. But watch when I breathe out, coming up. Now I use this to get up. Oh, okay. When I went down, this will all relax. So you breathe in. When no, you don't go breathe. Down. In. Oh, you don't breathe, breathe in at all. Well, I, breathe in. I don't need to oh, teach you how to breathe. You don't. Yeah. Okay. You, you learn how to breathe the day you got your mother got pregnant. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so breathing out is just what I need. Got it. Because when you breathe in and breathe out, you kind of neutralize the reason I want you to breathe out. You don't know why you breathe out. Why? To relax. Or no. To, or to get the muscle. No, working. because. You want to get as much carbon dioxide out of your system. Ah. So when you're doing this, see? So I put in more oxygen now, it equals. I don't want that. So I have more oxygen. Because my brain needs little oxygen to go up here. I need the carbon dioxide in my stomach to exhale. When you go down like this, Straight down. Once you were breathing out, watch how your back, watch how the leg now you are feeling the, the impact. Breathe out. When you get up, breathe out. Oh, I feel like, okay. Try to get up. So what what leg did you lead with when you started breathing out? I live with this leg. That's correct. Yeah. Because that's exactly what you're working on. Yeah. So so don't breathe out. Go back down again. Just get up. Oh. See? Yeah. Because, yeah. because the breathing out is, 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 and you hear me. Yeah. The muscle doesn't hear you. Oh. 
I get it. Oh, you definitely feel the difference with that. That's correct. That's correct. So what you've done, you are telling this leg now need again. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's so fascinating. That's, that's what you want to work. So while you are yeah. doing it, every time you bring it out that way, what he's doing is, he's bringing it here to here, okay. allowing him to stay here. Mm. Then why do I say don't lock up? When you lock up, you release this muscle. You don't want to release it. So you want to keep it there. Then you want to go back down. But don't go all the way down this time. Just go down. Right there. Woo! See, right? That's the tension I'm looking for. <laughs> yes! Then I want to bring back out again. And come come up. up. Yes. Right there. Woo! So Definitely feel the difference. You, try, you start to do that. Yeah. Then you start to have that. That perfect bones you're looking for. Oh, I'm on my way to a perfect booty. So, that's it. Oh, that was great. So, that was good. Thank you. Is yeah, exercise is breathing. I yeah. love that. I just learned so many things over here at Pico Athletic Club from Roland Richards, who taught me about his technique, plyometrics, which is actually a term I've never heard of before. Now he says, you can eat whatever you want, but you just gotta cut out butter, cheese, fried food, and sugary drinks. <laughs> Looks like I gotta take a trip over to Trader Joe's after this and clean up my fridge, because I think that's all I've gotten there. <laughs> Now, if you have any questions about Roland or any of his techniques, or if you want to come over and uh, use him to get you into shape, check out PicoAthleticClub.com. The number's on the website. You can call him, ask him anything you need to ask him, and have a great day.